Uh, hello YouTube. Just wanted to show you how I go about fishing out of a uh, Sea Eagle kayak. This is the SE330 model. So this is usually if you're going to fish, I think one person. If you try to have two people fishing, I think it'd just be a nightmare. The SE370, you can comfortably fish, you now semi comfortably fish two people out of there. Although it's better with one person fishing and the other person just assisting. So anyway, here's how I organize it, which seems to work. I have my seat here. Highly recommend these kinds of seats. They're a lot more comfortable, give you a good back support. So I have an extra air pump in the back. If I don't wear my life vest, I know that you should, but I have always have it. Then I'll stuff it there. I have a little bag here where I keep my fishing gear, some basic fishing gear. You don't want to bring too much. A little bag seems to work well. And I have a water bottle here that I can reach backwards very easily and get either of those things. Uh, when you're fishing, really important, since you're in an inflatable boat, especially if you're using treble hooks, like uh, I have a Rapala on there. But, you know, even if you're not using treble hooks, you don't want a flopping fish in the boat. You don't want a flopping fish with treble hooks flopping around next to the boat. So what you have to do is if you have a larger fish on especially, thoroughly tire it out. Okay? Get its head out of the water next to the boat. Make sure it's done shaking. And then, that's why I have two pliers right there. You want to have two sets of pliers handy, open, ready to use. Okay? Because you're only going to have one hand really available. Because one hand will be holding the pole as you get it close. So, as the fish gets near the boat, you're going to take your pliers, grab it by the mouth, usually the lower lip with one pair of pliers. Then you can take your fishing pole and set it down. Maybe uh, pull a little line off of it, but set it down in the boat. Now you take your now you take your right hand with your left hand it has the fish by the mouth with one pair of pliers. Take your right hand and now you can lift the uh, fish up with your left. Take the right hand with the other set of pliers and remove the hooks one at a time. And you try to do it along the side of the boat better not to do it over yourself, just in case you slip. You don't want a flopping fish with treble hooks flopping down on your lap or in an inflatable boat. Now that method seems to work pretty well, and I've landed some pretty big fish in this boat. You know, 8-10 pound pike, 7-pound uh, walleye, um, and I fish in Florida too, and I've had some big fish on there. That's the way to do it. Okay, otherwise, uh, if you try to rush it, um, you're going to have problems and, you know, it becomes dangerous. Now, if you're trolling, okay, what you do is you'll be in the boat and you're going to have the pole about right like this. It's going to be right between your legs. And then you'll be paddling. Your elbow will be above the pole. And that's how you would troll in this boat. And that works uh, pretty well. It's a pretty comfortable way to do it. So I've had a lot of fun fishing out of the Seagull kayak. It's very doable. You do have to think ahead and be prepared, okay, and expect to have a big fish on because if you're not ready, you're going to have some serious problems. But if you're ready and you're planned ahead, uh, this is a lot of fun to fish out of, very comfortable, very easy to use. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. See you later. Oops, forgot about the stringer you got to have the stringer right here where you can reach it. So, once you got the fish off the hook and you got the lure just floating in the water, back in the water, or in a safe place, you got the fish by the mouth with the pliers. Now you can take the stringer, jam it up through, and you're going to be able to use both hands at this point with the fish. The fish should be tired, it shouldn't be flopping around, and then you can put it in the stringer. I usually tie the stringer around my leg. Now, if you have a rope or something along the side of the uh, kayak, you can tie it to that also. But I usually just do it around my leg. So, again, if you have any questions, let me know.